When I found out what I'm about to read to you, I immediately tweeted on my page and said that Herschel Walker is just a waste of time, space, and melanin. Like, this guy is just taking up a lot of space on this planet, and he's just one guy. But unfortunately, it's so many more out there who were just like him. So as we all know, Herschel Walker is running for a, a Senate seat, a GOP candidate Senate seat down in Georgia, and I don't even know how he even got this far, but... Because he already has so many things working against him, it's ridiculous. But he still manages to keep pushing forward. But the thing is, they're pushing him forward because they need, they're, they're tokenized, they're basically making him, uh, he, they're tokenizing him. He's the, the lonely black figure that they need to push out there. So they will bypass anything and everything in order to make sure that that happens. Even so far as lying. Now, I know that's not unusual to them, but this one right here takes the cake. So apparently, uh, Herschel Walker went to UGA, the University of Georgia, where he claimed, and I would have thought this was a lie from the get go, because this guy just seems like he doesn't have it all together anyway. He claimed that he graduated at the top 1% of his class. I would have knew he was lying right off the bat the minute he said that. Because if you listen to him talk, he can't really put together a form, a, a simple declarative sentence. And I know, like some people say, it could be the CTE from years of getting hit on the field, you know, as a football player. But that doesn't scream that to me at all. And my thing is, why would you lie about something like that when people could easily pull your records? Which is exactly what happened, because not only did this guy not graduate at the top 1% of his class, he also just did not plain graduate. He did not graduate from this school. So he wasn't the top percentage of nothing. I would go a step further and say that he probably barely attended class. He just appeared to me to be the big dumb jock. The person that all they did all day was eat, sleep, breathe football in his case football now i'm gonna read this article that's gonna go into more depth the title reads gop senate candidate herschel walker has been overstating his academic achievement for years for years herschel walker has told the same inspiring story that he graduated in the top one percent of his class at the university of georgia so he's not just now telling this story he's been telling this story he's a habitual liar he told the story according to a review of his speeches by CNN's K-File during motivational speeches over the years and as recently as 2017. The only problem, it's not true. Walker, who was a candidate in the Republican primary race for U.S. Senate in Georgia, acknowledged in December that he did not graduate from Georgia after the Atlanta Journal-Constitution first reported that the false claim was listed on his campaign website. But CNN K-File Review found that Walker himself had been repeating the claim for years. Walker's comments in 2017 and others made over the years that show the former football star repeatedly misrepresented his academic credentials. And all of a sudden, I started going to the library, getting books standing in front of a mirror reading to myself, Walker said in a 2017 motivational speech. Something tells me the, pic the, the books that he got probably had a lot of pictures in them. And the words were probably very big and bold. So that Herschel that all the, so that Herschel that all, I'm, I think that's a typo, that all the kids said was retarded, become valedictorian of his class, graduated University of Georgia in the top 1% of his class. Valedictorian? <laughs> that's funny. All they got to do is go back to look at the year he was supposed to graduate and see who the valedictorian was because they can easily pull that up. Walker also made the claim in another interview in 2017. I also was the top 1% of my graduating class of college. Walker did not graduate from Georgia, where he was a star running back after entering as a prize high school recruit. A profile of Walker from 1982 in the Christian Science Monitor in article in an article from the New York Times said he maintained a B average at the school. Walker himself told the Chicago Tribune in 1985 he maintained a 3.0 before his grades dropped. He left to play professional football before graduating, and though having repeatedly said he was returning to obtain his degree, he never received a diploma. The Walker campaign did not provide proof of Walker's claims when asked by CNN, but they de defended his record as a professional athlete because that's all they can defend. But we're not talking about him as a professional athlete. We're talking about his academics. This guy has been lying about his academic achievements at UGA since 2017. 
until last year when he finally admitted that he did not graduate from the school. He did not graduate from top 1% in his class. Like I told you, I would go a step further and say that he probably didn't even go to class. Walker is endorsed by former President Donald Trump and is expected to be the Republican nominee to run against Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock in November. The claim was removed from his website between December and January, according to screenshots from the Internet Archive's Wayback Machine. That was not the only claim about Walker's education that was adjusted on his website at the time. After a review of the revised site, CNN's K-File found another little notice claim was removed that said Walker graduated valedictorian of his high school. The website now says that Walker graduated top of his class. The claim still remains on the Heisman winners page for Walker. I highly doubt that. How is it that you graduated top of your class as valedictorian of your high school and then you got to UGA and you just slacked off? Because usually a lot of people won't. I'm not going to say it happens all the time, but some of the time or or most of the time, a lot of people, they're going to keep that momentum going. So I find it hard to believe that a guy who graduated, who dropped out of UGA, lied about that. And we're supposed to believe that he graduated as a valedictorian on top of his class. Come on now. While Walker was a top student at his high school and the president of the beta club, he maintained an A average to be in the school's beta club. CNN's K file found no evidence he was the class valedictorian. Walker has mentioned in numerous speeches over the years, including in the 2017 speech where he claimed to have graduated in the top 1% of his college class and in his 2008 autobiography that he was class valedictorian at Johnson County High School. The street where Johnson County High School resides was officially named Herschel Walker Drive in 2017 in honor of Walker's football achievements. That's all they could do for because it definitely wasn't for his academic achievements. If I'm proud of anything I did in my high school career, it's what I did in the classroom that I reflect on and relish the most. I did more than just shed the stupid label placed on me as a result of my speech impediment. I shed it, erased it, and rewrote it with the titles Beta Club President and Class Valedictorian. Wrote Walker in his 2008 Breaking Free My Life with Disassociative Identity Disorder. CNN's K-5 reviewed Walker's high school yearbooks and coverage of him in local newspapers at the time. According to the local newspaper, the Wrightsville headlight at Walker's 1980 graduation, he was not given the award for the student with the highest GPA in any academic subject. He did tie with another student for a leadership award based on participation in clubs and his GPA and won numerous awards that year for his football achievements. While Walker was one of the ceremony's high honor graduates, the article does not mention the school naming them valedictorian or salutatorian so he so he wasn't even the top or the person below the top person in the class a 15-year review of local press coverage did not find the school naming a valedictorian until 1994 when the paper acknowledged the school was naming a valedictorian and salutatorian for the first time in many years wow and see he graduated from high school way before that he graduated high school in the 80s. They said that this, they didn't acknowledge a valedictorian or salutatorian until 1994. At that time, wasn't he into his football career? Somebody let me know. Walker's campaign did not provide evidence that Walker graduated as his high school's valedictorian other than pointing to news articles from the early 1980s. After he began his career at the University of Georgia making the claim, there is not a single voter in Georgia who believes that whether Herschel graduated at the top of his class or his valedictorian 40 years ago has any bearing on his ability to be a great United States Senator Mallory Blount, communications director for the campaign, said in a statement. The campaign also did not provide an explanation for why it removed the claim that Walker was valedictorian from his website. When repeatedly asked if the campaign stood by the Sorry about that. Let me go ahead and repeat that part. The campaign also did not provide an explanation for why I removed the claim that Walker was valedictorian from his website. When repeatedly asked that the campaign stood by the since removed claim from his website, the Walker's campaign manager, Scott Paradise, sent the same statement three times in a row, which did not address K Files questions. Multiple reporters wrote about this 40 years ago. If you have a problem with what they wrote, please contact them. If you have a difficult time getting in touch with them, ask yourself why you are asking such a stupid question, said Paradise to CNN. Well, sheesh, why are you getting so bent out of shape for a lie that y'all put up? It's not our fault y'all are endorsing or campaigning around a dumbass. Talking about he was valedictorian at a time when they didn't even acknowledge valedictorian 
until 1994, and he graduated in the early 80s. Johnson County Schools declined to comment and direct the questions to Walker's campaign when asked if they named the valedictorian that year or if Walker was the top student. It's unclear when Walker began claiming he graduated from Georgia, and press accounts began listing him as returning to get his degree as early as 1983 after he left to join the United States Football League, a rival to the National Football League in the 1980s. Walker joined the New Jersey Generals, which was owned by then-businessman Trump. Over the years, Walker repeatedly told interviewers he had gone back to Georgia during the offseason to take classes. A 1986 article from the Dallas Morning News on his football career states Walker completed his degree in criminal justice and features a quote from Walker talking about his degree. Getting a degree is one of the paths you can take on the road to becoming an FBI man, Walker said. Of course, my life is not going that direction right now, but I think police work, especially the FBI, would be my choice if I wasn't a pro football player. Well, thank God it isn't. Speaking on a YouTube show in 2008, following the release of his book, Walker told the interviewer he went back to get his college degree from the University of Georgia. You know it was said whether I leave or stay in school, it came up that I leave. And what was weird about that is people said, why would you leave college so early? And that's like, guys, I went back to get my degree, which is what you're supposed to do. Press reports from the time of the book's publication listed Walker's website for his book and subsequent speaking on mental health as HerschelWalker.net, which also said Walker returned to college and completed his degree. The claim is brought up in interviews with Walker on at least two separate occasions, with the host saying he returned to get his degree. In either instance, did Walker correct the interviewers? Listen, if y'all want to endorse a lying ass dumbass, go right on ahead. But see, this is the thing. He is like perfect for them because that's all many of them do anyway is lie, lie and lie some more. And when they're done doing that, they rest, wake up and lie and lie again. This guy literally lied about his entire academic career, probably until the point where he went back to finish his degree. And even I have to say that might be alleged. How are you going to sit up there and claim that you was the valedictorian, graduated top of your class, when they didn't even acknowledge valedictorian until 1994 and you graduated from high school in the early 80s? That's like when Kamala Harris claimed that she was a fan of Snoop Dogg in the late 80s, like when she was going to Howard, and Snoop did not release his first album until the early 90s. Unless you got some kind of underground mixtape that Snoop apparently didn't make, or he allegedly made that none of us know about. I don't know how that works. And like he, they said he'd been lying about this since 2017 as if they was not going to be able to pull that up. Like what does Herschel Walker think is going to happen when you're a polytriction? They like to dig and you're a black man in case you forgot. But see, he'd been hanging around all these PC folks for so long. He thinks he's one of them. I mean, look at what he spawned. Look what came from his nutsack. Christian Walker. And speaking of Christian Walker and his flaming hot Cheeto ass, is he going to get on his soapbox and do all his theatrics like he usually likes to do and talk about this? Because he likes to say how the left is this and the left is that and, you know, liberal this and liberal that. Meanwhile, your dad is a whole fraud. But then again, I'm starting to see that it's hereditary because Christian Walker is a fraud his damn self. But yeah, Herschel Walker, like I said, he's a disgrace. He is like the shame. He, he has to be a, like a stain on his own family. If no one, if anyone came, it w is related to him. I would be su suggest y'all just lay low. Don't ever come out and say that you are related to Herschel Walker in any capacity. I don't give a damn if you're way down the family tree. As far as relation, I don't care if you are the, his third cousin, stay out of it. Isn't because if I was related to Herschel Walker, people would never know because I wouldn't go around claiming it, honestly, especially since I know who his son is. Oh, hell no. Nah. That whole family, well, those two are an embarrassment. They just are. But PC loves them, and we know why. Look at how Herschel Walker talks. Well, when he tries to talk, Look at how Christian Walker acts when he acts like he's on some Broadway production because he always is acting like he's trying to get a Tony nomination. And that's pretty much it.